Hello there, boys and girls. Uh, a long, long time ago, God, it's been years, decades maybe even, uh, we started this uh, this Goon Blood Bowl single elimination tournament called Goon Bowl, and uh, now me and Berg are going to be joined by the League's Commissioner, Natural 20. Say hello. Hello. And we're going to be talking about the final. That was actually Berg. I'm Natural 20. I Berg just changed his voice. Yeah, Berg, master of, uh, master of, uh, uh, what's the term? I can't even. I was wanted to say improvisation, but that's not right. He can he can talk like he's from a foreign land, a, a mystic far off land. Magic is real, kids. It's, it's true. Secretly, I've been British all along, uh, and I just tricked all of you. <laughs> oh God, he hit us with a long con. The the British secret. Um. So our our uh, our two uh, our two competitors today are Whoop, uh, a TAA player that we just played against, who is once again playing elves. Uh, this time he's playing the dark elf team, and we have Bucha, the uh, the orcs. The, uh, the the chuckle eds the good guys in this story if you want to call them the good guys Berg is already taking a strong anti elf stance fuck elves uh, it's also important to note that all three of us are coming into this match with no clue uh, we had uh, I believe this is Butch's recording oh and there there's Bob and Jim so you know we're in for a good time <laughs> uh, we had Butch record Hi, this and he uh, he sent it to us so I'll have to decide. We'll probably be. We'll probably actually just be cutting this part out. What is this font? Oh yeah, he's using a. Uh, he is using a. Uh, a graphic like, pack or something. A custom graphic pack, like a community graphic pack. I didn't know anyone cared enough about this game to do that. Yeah, this one's been kicking around for a while. There is, I believe, it moves the in turn counter as well because a lot of people misclick on that all the time, and then it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's these are a little too. This is a little too pop. Uh, not the, the term poppy. It's it's too it's too much. It's too much. For I like my, it. Poor soul. I like it. I think it looks nice. It's very helpful when you're playing. It's less helpful when you don't want to look at something that's bright yellow the entire time. Right. I do feel like I'm being sexually assaulted by a neon light, so... I'm definitely a big fan of the chiller font choice for waiting for opponent. Yeah. There's a nice sense of dread in that in that font decision. Yeah. Ugh. So let's actually just go ahead and run down these rosters while these guys get set up. I I would assume that this is gonna be like a five, like a four to five match probably. Dark elves and uh, and orcs are are well known high scoring teams, so we're gonna have plenty of time for other kickoffs to be cut out. But while this one happens, uh, we're gonna go ahead and run down the rosters. So, uh, I guess we'll start with the uh, with the with the orcs as he's moving his players around. Uh, he has four black orcs. Uh, I'll read these names off on this team uh, because they're actually they're actually fairly inspired. Some of them. Uh, so we have uh, Rafael Williams. Quippen Tarantino, those are black orcs with no skills. Laughs CK and Bernie Mock, uh, those are black orcs with block. Uh, Sean William Scoff and Eddie Murphy are both blitzers who managed to roll doubles. So they uh, they start with block and they picked up dodge and they both have tackles. So in that case, they, uh, they they got lucky with the dubs and they also managed to pick up tackles. So they're identical in that sense. Uh, so those are the guys that are going to be scoring today. Yeah, absolutely. And they're also going to be the ones who are going to be punching elves. I like them. Actually, you know what? Oh, no, he does have a little bit of dodge on, on his team. Uh, because, because as you know, Dark Elves don't start with dodge. There's no player that really starts with it. Other than the Witch Elf. Uh, we have Cackle Top, a Mighty Blow Blitzer, and we have Chris Ruckus, a Tackle Blocker. So there's actually no guard in this game, despite uh, a few of these teams having strength at, uh, natural strength access. A few of these players, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think if he didn't roll doubles on one of those Blitzers, he probably would have just thrown guard on it, just to have an instance of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because just his one's really helpful. I was kind of surprising considering how bash heavy this league was uh, up to this point, which is, un is not surprising seeing orcs and dark elves in the playoffs. Those are both strong, uh, strong playoff teams. I myself uh, took part in the in this fine tournament, and I got eliminated in what the semifinals. I was also playing a dark elf team. I drunkenly signed up and then woke up and said, "Why did I do that?" Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl's great. That's no. That's not the adjective I'd use. I happen to know that Bucha actually ended up playing an elf team, a lizard team, and then is playing another elf team now. So the reason he's got all the tackle he does and doesn't have any guard is because mm -hmm. he wanted to kill elves and skinks, uh, and he did a great job of that. As it turns out, I wish I could have traded schedules with him. I played like undead and Kimri, and I think I played a Nurgle team. I've kind of blacked out there in the middle. <laughs> God, it was just it was just the worst. So that's basically his team. He has three linos, uh, Tihina Fey, Jiri Seinfeld, and John Crassy. Uh, they have no skills. And then he has uh, Jowen Stewart, 
uh, a passer who has block and leader. So uh, you could see there on the kickoff the kickoff uh, event, they both picked up. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, just just Woot picked up a reroll there because he also has a leader player. John Stewart. Aya uh, is probably the most ridiculous player in the league. He has the longest, like, highest number of passing yards and the and highest number of passing completions in the entire league, and he's an orc thrower. That's pretty Nobody's impressive. Nobody's done it better. I like his style. Then again, you know who holds the, what kind of character holds the passing record in the Goon League? Shut up, nobody cares about the Goon League. It's a Chaos Warrior! Yeah, yeah, we all know. Oh, Henrietta. Love you. So as we talk, as we talk straight over the top. Oh, we should know. Uh, some of you who only who have never actually taken part, experienced the joys of Cyanide's Blood Bowl for themselves, and have only taken part in the game through my uh, through the LP. Uh, there are there are actually commentators who come with the game, and they're called Jim and Bob. One of them is a vampire, and one of them is a uh, ogre, I believe. Yep. And uh, they they have some fun little quips. They like talking about big moot sandwiches and the. Uh, the, the stadium that, like, sunk into the earth or whatever. I don't know. Uh, some people really hate them because they're really repetitive. I think they're super great. And uh, when I'm not recording videos, I like to play with them on because I think they're funny. You want to you wanna try one of those Big Moot sandwiches now? No. Uh, that little elf girl selling Big Moot sandwiches. Something, something. I actually, I used to have that line memorized because I listened to it so much. <laughs> That's the one. Oh, God. Jim and Bob are the best. Yeah, they really are. We should talk about the Dark Elf team as well. So we have the uh, the Witch Elf. Uh, it's called the Queen. The the uh, the Queen, and there's a player called Team Never Meant to Play Goons. I believe all the rest of these names are stock Dark Elf names. You will have to correct me on this if I'm wrong, but they definitely look not real. Well, Poop is in one of their names, and I'll uh -huh. accept that as a canon elf name. Okay, so yeah, that that guy's just called Poop and Dill. That's yep. a, that's a pretty strong name. Yep. Uh, but the Queen has, starts with Frenzy, starts with Dodge, and starts with Jump Up, and has Block and Sidestep. So that is a pretty well-rounded player. Um, Whoop's team has a lot less of a spread of skills, uh, but they are a lot more high. They're, so they're a lot more highly concentrated in the uh, the good players, as he unfortunately uh, cannot make cannot take advantage of a tackle block. In case you forgot, there's actually a game going on, and this is pretty standard. Uh, turn one, turn one, orc fair. Yeah, but none of the elves died. That's that's a shame. Oh, uh, the yeah, the end of turn button is over there on the left. That's part of this. Uh, that was part of this mod. I specifically only remember that thing because that that actually made me consider uh, downloading it because having that bigger. I definitely uh, fat fingered the end turn button trying to like move the mouse around. Yeah, I've never done that. I don't understand how it's even possible. Uh, the dark elf team has four blitzers. Uh, one of them is plus strength and blodge. Uh, that is one of the fakey names. Uh, he has one that is just blodge and he has one that's blodge tackle. Uh, he has two runners. They both start with dump off, which is cool. Uh, hopefully, we get to see dump off actually happen. But one of them has block and has leader, which is why Whoop now has five rerolls. Hmm. I like that he did take the time to name the queen. Yep. And like nothing else. Uh, and like one random blitzer. Yeah, team never meant to play goons. Yeah. Uh, it was probably so. I'm assuming he started with three blitzers and a witch elf and two rerolls. I think that's how that start happens. Uh, I assume so. And the reason that he's got stock names is because he joined the tournament about two or three rounds in. Oh, After, that's right. Uh, yeah, Steel Ball, uh, I'm going to call him out here for quitting the league, like an absolute uh. bitch. Uh, Steel Ball's <laughs> Wood Elf team got murdered. Every single player just died and we killed every war dancer and then he quit the league. We killed both the war dancers, so that's so we killed his whole team. That is true. Those are the only good players. Uh, and so once that was done, he quit, and uh, Whoop joined up uh, with this team that was two or three games in as mm -hmm. it is. Uh, and then he rolled a plus F strength blitzer, and uh, never really looked back. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, uh, he didn't lose any games, you said? Going yeah, he, through this? Whoop has never lost a game, uh, and I don't think that Booch has lost a game since uh, week four, where he played the top person in uh, your division. Oh yeah, we should mention that the uh, the because the 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 format of the game, uh, there were two divisions: the the new division and the the Berg division. So uh, that means that Whoop is representing Whoop is officially one of Berg's boys. I I think now by contract. Did you hear that the Wait, who is Whoop? No, no, he plays elves. He can't be one of my boys. Uh, Booch is no. one of my boys. No, no. no. So uh, Whoop is from New Division, and uh, yes! oh, that's right. Of course, duh, Booch because I played division. I played Steel Ball. So yes! no, okay. so Booch is Berg's boy. Oh, you were in New Division. Yeah. Of course oh. I was. You were in Berg Division until you pussied out. 
yeah, no, there was, uh, I woke <laughs> I was sober, and then I realized right. I didn't want to do it. So, yeah, maybe I should have just had a drink and decided it was a great idea. Again. I mean, to be fair, you were really excited at the time when you were telling me about it. Yeah, no, I totally was. I remember. Mm hmm. And then I wasn't. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, also, another thing to point out is the fact that we got this from Bucha and he appears to have just like recorded it. No, no, I'm not I'm not expecting him to, to produce a a highly edited experience of this game. But there are there may be some downtime here. This is this is raw ass Blood Bowl. Uh, don't don't say raw and ass in the same sentence. <laughs> this is some this is some dirty dirty raw blood bowl. There you go. That's also not great. But thank you for trying. Right. Why why is there an orc on the ground? What kind of baby orc gets hit by an elf and falls over? I I wish I could tell you the answer. So he's gonna um he's gonna try to make a punch here against the queen. It looks like he's queuing up to uh to do the push before he realizes the sidestep is a thing. That is a very very good witch elf, by the way. Yeah, I actually like witch elves. They're one of the only elf units that I don't hate. Yeah, because they're, they're really cool. Mhm. Mm yeah, jump up and jump up and frenzy off the start is a pretty is a pretty sick combination. Yeah, I really like Norse, so they remind me of Norse. Sure. So, so it looks like uh, it looks like Butch is gonna try to just settle in here a little bit. Uh, he, because the the kick was nice and far back, and we've got some nice penetration, uh, there's not really going to be much of a chance to to try to to try to make some headway here. No rush. You're playing the York game. You're playing the two one grind. This is kind of to be expected. I can only assume both the uh, both the dark elf and the orc team are both basically planning to do the 2-1 grind, which uh, could be really boring, or it could be really cool. <laughs> it just depends on when the ball gets found. Right? That's true. Uh, n neither team has, like, a, like the best the best ball getter on both of these teams is, like, a player with tackle or the witch elf who has frenzy, but uh, being able to being able to walk all of his black orcs down the field is going to make getting in here a, a bit difficult for, for Whoop. Black orcs are pretty cool guys. I like them. Yeah, they're big. They're big, rough and tumble dudes. Yep. I just hope that they uh, accomplish things this game. It's kind of sad that he only got two levels on them through the league, though. Yeah, they're really hard to get levels on them, to be fair. Well, yeah, they, I mean they're they're a lot like Saurus is. Yeah. And like until they have block, they're kind of just this unreliable hunk of flesh, and then they become yep. super efficient. It just kind of sucks he didn't get a block on all of them. Yeah, it's a big difference. But they are a pretty powerful cage. That is for sure. I'm not really sure how the elves deal with it at this TV without wrestle and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, uh, not even necessarily just looking at these lineups, but just knowing uh, these two teams at, at this low of a TV, um, it may it may very well not be some very exciting blood bowl. This could be pretty. Uh, this could be pretty slow. Uh, could be fairly. Oh, that's right. He's a plus strength blitzer. Plus strength blitzer. I forgot. That's right. Fuck that cage corner up, son. Wow. Get in there. I don't think he's gonna get in there. He should get in yet. there. Why is he afraid? He maybe should get in there. Coward. Whoop confirmed coward. He is instead going to uh, continue his to establish his dominance of the line. I'm really trying not to take sides here, but you're making it very hard. No, you're going to take the elf side, and I'm going to take the bash side. You should be used to this dynamic by now. Yeah, but that's... We're, we, are, we are unbiased commentators. At what point have I ever been unbiased? That's a good question. Or, that's, a good, that's a good thought. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, eight seconds into the first match we commentated, I made my mm -hmm. stance clear. Oh, sure. Absolutely. I was like, hi, I'm Berg. Fuck elves. It's... The queen is not afraid at all. She's getting in there. Yeah, that was a pretty cool combination of jump up frenzy. Uh, it unfortunately was fruitless, but it was cool looking. Yeah, that's what counts, really. It does mean she's going to get murdered next turn uh, by a couple of tackle blitzes. I hope so. Yeah, one can only hope. Uh, sidestep makes it a lot harder, of course, as we all know. But oh, there's the big moot sandwich line. <laughs> And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Yeah, no way, a little help, beauty. 
<laughs> Classic Vav and Jim. Oh, you oh. cards. Wow. Gotta love him. Gotta he love him. Not like, he does not like big dudes in his <laughs> Yeah. Be, you you can be uh, almost assured to hear that line at least twice a match. No, like, like at least twice a half. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure we've already heard repeat lines and we're like eight minutes into the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, I actually once, because um, I thought it would be really funny, uh, I once looked into, uh, when I was doing like, also I guess it was around the same time I was looking at doing like one of these weird graphics mods. I was looking at doing like a, like a, like a, a voice pack. Uh, type mm -hmm. deal like recording your own lines there's actually like almost like something in the order of like eight hours of commentary and stuff and there's a bunch of lines that look like they could be used but i you never hear them in the game so i don't know if that's just a case of cyanide cyaniding it but probably uh, i was actually kind of amazed to see how much commentary they rolled uh, so whoop was very strong over here on the right side but um he is of course leaving a ton of room for uh Bucha to try to advance he can't really because his black orcs are so slow he can't really make too much headroom um but he could probably if he if he really if he really dedicated himself to that life, he could maybe, uh, maybe to make him make a run for it. I don't know. I think he can he can afford to set up a cage right there where he has the orcs anchoring it right now. Yeah, I'll yeah. Have to do a GFI to get one of them over to the bottom left side, but I don't know. I think it's a reasonable cage, even even though he's gonna have an elf on at least one corner of it. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna be able to get in and blitz into the ball carrier. Yep. Yeah, that's so, that's the frustrating part about running a running against a bash team is that one of their one of their downfalls of the cage falling apart is when they leave one of your players on the on the corner, but they, sometimes they're just so beefy that you can't stop them. Yeah, well, especially orcs. Like they're if they have that black art cage going, it's just super hard to deal with without a bunch of guard or good leapers. Yep. But I. I like how both of them are playing so far, though. I think Whoop might have stacked a little heavy on the right, but he has the movement advantage. He can afford to do that. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Isn't, hasn't been enough blood yet, though. Yeah, that's um, if the uh, that was that was a little close. If the if the orcs want to win, they definitely need to start spilling some blood. But when when your whole team is armor value eight, other than the witch elf and I guess the runners, that makes it a little hard. Yeah, stupid dark elves being really, really, really fucking good. Yeah, they're yeah they're they are incredibly great, especially for tournaments. Yep, I mean, Lord knows I've lost enough tournament games to them. <laughs> well, I feel like every tournament is like forty percent uh, dark elf. Like, I just always lose to them in tournaments. I think the math checks out there. Yep. Well, I would never lie to the viewers, so. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I, I have noted that Butcher's basically won every single game of his just by killing his entire opponent's team every single time. Yeah. He took, um, it sounds Burl. like a good strategy. Burl's playing Lizards, he took him to a 28 turn game and killed every oh. single skink. Oh. How's that even possible? 28 turns. It was a playoff game. Oh, so it's just tied? Uh, in playoff, in pl single, single elimination playoff games, um, once the once you, the turn counter runs out, it's basically next next score wins. And it took 28 turns. Uh, yeah, so every single time uh, it's a tie uh, at the end of uh, the game, it adds on four turns, and whoever's scored at the end of the four turns wins. And it took 28 turns. Uh, so it took 14 turns, I think, sorry, not 14, 12 turns uh, after the end of the game for somebody to score in that game. Uh, because Feral managed to make a Croxagor dodge. Uh, um, something like on turn 18 to save the ball. <laughs> oh my god, I want to watch this game, but not because I'd enjoy it, because it's just I just don't believe that it exists. It's up on my YouTube, so... <laughs> okay, new, we're commentating it next week. Well, no, uh, Nat20, I believe you have done uh, some... I don't know, well, I guess nobody who is nobody who is not in Goonball would not be following the thread, uh, but you did some... Oh, that's not good. You you actually did some uh some kind of like commentary stuff for the uh the weekly videos and like wrap up types type deals. Uh yeah, so basically every time I play the game I tried to stream it and then do a wrap up of everything that's gone on in the league after I played. Um, which means that sometimes you see the saltiest games ever uh, oh, yeah. losing quite badly. 
<laughs> I didn't win very many games in this Goon Ball, because I made the mistake of playing High Elves, and they don't do anything. No, they really, really don't. They look really good. They do look really good. They do look fresh. Look at those fucking hats, though. Yeah, I would not, I would not advise High Elves for, uh, for League play purposes. Um... But one of the one of the, the the cool things, I guess maybe not cool for someone who wants to watch like weird funny Blood Bowl, uh, but one of the cool things about tournaments is that the people who play tournaments are like when you play tournaments you are just savage. Uh, yes. <laughs> That was a, that was a really good time skull, um, but they will they will stall the ever living shit out of you, and they will like just destroy your whole team and keep fouling them mercilessly because it's like it, like the gloves are off when you're playing Goon Bowl. If you For ever sure. want the like the, the the Goon Bowl experience, you could just always play E Nesbit in a normal game, right? And you'll get the full experience. It's like Black Box, but the like even the players in Goon Bowl care less about scoring than the people who play Black Box. Uh, so there is the the only person standing in Booch's way right now is a uh, presumably oh no that is the block leader runner, uh, just as block does not have dodge so if he can if he can make his way through this guy, uh, he's going to be able to turn the corner here actually pretty well. Yeah. Oh, uh, he rolls the bird dice. Yep. That's I mean that's still fine. What are you gonna? Uh, that that one runner isn't exactly going to be able to save you if you can continue to uh, keep the cage. Yeah, and just being able to. Being able to consistently move even just three or four squares here with the orcs is it's looking pretty good for Butcher right now. I can only assume the plan is to score on turn uh turn eight. Yeah, that should be his only plan. The old turn eight score is exactly what to go for in this game. Yep, yep. Looks like he's gonna go for a saucy dodge here to uh, to make the full cage. Yep. Good plays. Mm-hmm. Uh, this this should though provide Whoop a, a decent opportunity to peel off a little bit and come back around if he so desires. Uh, he was kind of he was kind of just kind of trying to punch orcs around. The uh, I believe it is eleven on eleven. I don't believe any player brought a twelfth. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I don't think so. Okay. Yep. Oh, there is one. Immediately there's twelve proven on wrong. the orc team. Uh, there are twelve orcs, but there are not. Uh... There's only eleven elves. Oh, actually, were there? Were there inducements that I, uh... Yeah, there's Bloodweiser babes for... It was just babes for the orcs. For the orcs, really? Yep, he's down, like, 80 TV. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, the elves are 1460 and he was 1380. Elves are pretty expensive, to be fair. Well, they're also really good. Oh, no, Butcha touched the camera. <sighs> oh, God, what's happening? Ah! He's never gonna find it. <laughs> That is the most frustrating thing about Blood Bowl, is once you touch that camera, you can never quite get it right back, right? Nope, it's definitely not back to where it was, so... No, we might be... This is this is freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> We're stuck. And really, the first fucking person injured is an orc lineman with 9 AV. Uh, didn't we miss a KO on the line of scrimmage? I think one elf went down on the line of scrimmage. Well, it's just a stun. I guess we can do some quick I'm, I'm head count usually there. wrong. Six, seven. So. Uh, I only count ten dark elves. Okay, well, hey, good for you. I'm I'm not convinced you can actually count to ten, so... Actually, I only count nine Dark Elves. Oh, they're all dead. So, whoops, oh. deciding to use his reroll here. Uh, this is a this is a pretty important block to be able to get. Um, yeah. th I believe that's his plus strength blitzer. I guess the fact that he uh, he just threw a 2 DB on a Black Orc means that that's the plus strength blitzer. Uh, but it looks like Whoop has had enough of the, the, the cage rolling. So he's gonna... Nice. Oh, he's gonna get right up in there. Oh, dear, he's gonna get right up in there. Yeah, um, I don't think, it, yeah, I don't, I think he's going to be able to get out of this pretty easily, though, Bucha. Uh, yeah, but, and I, well, I guess there's no real rush on the timer, but, um. I mean, you can just step your black orc up, and then you could push everything away. Like, oh, he, never mind, he targeted, or he, uh, marked his blitzer and blocked Yeah, him. yeah. Uh, this is the, this is the, the disgusting part about Dark Elves, is that they can, they can stick with you for the most part toe-to-toe, -to -toe, taking blocks, and then all of a sudden they can just start dodging away. And uh, then gumming up the works pretty hard. Yeah, they're the worst. I think these uh, the orcs need to start using these spikes and the like the skulls and stuff on their clothing and just beat the elves to death. I think that's was their game plan the whole time. Yeah, I don't, they're not doing really good with it, really well with it so far. Oh, I see myself. Mm, not particularly. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, maybe the thrower just dodges away. 
Dodge away, throw it to the Blitzer. That's the plan. That was a poorly timed skull. Um, it, it actually should be known that, that Buji could score if he wants to. Yeah, the Blitzer can make it. The the pro maneuver would have been to hand off to the Blitzer who's not throwing a block, but... Yeah. Uh, being able to take out runners is actually pretty useful because they are, uh, as we noted, one of the, the seven armor value units, so... Uh, once you can start getting Dark Elves off the pitch... Oh, that's probably not what he wanted to do. There we go. The camera looks better. It's still not there. Yep. It it's gonna have to be good enough. <laughs> Maybe he should just zoom out and give us the full top down. So it oh. looks like he's going to. Uh, looks like he's just gonna hang out here. He's not gonna be able to clear everyone off, uh, but he is gonna be able to clear two of these guys off. Uh, yeah, probably. Oh no, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, he could clear off that blitzer if he wants to, and I would assume he wants to. Uh, no real rush on the orcs part, but um, definitely don't want to let... If those elves can get their... Ooh, nice. Yes. If those elves can get their hands on a, uh, on that ball, they can they can make your life uh, pretty miserable. If they get their hands on the ball here, they can totally break away and he won't catch up. Yep, yep, absolutely. He's got that blitzer alignment and the witch elf, witch elf all behind the orcs. If that ball comes loose, it's going to end real badly. Yeah, the problem, of course, is going to be getting the ball loose in the first place. Uh, a ball carrier block would definitely help, but the fact still remains that uh, it, with some... Actually, the positioning now is kind of really weird. Uh, pre presumably, Whoop would want to... Get, he could get a 2db on the ball on the ball carrier with his plus strength which elf, if, or with his pl plus strength blitzer if he has all of the other orcs marked. Um, but as it stands right now, the square he wants to be in is the square that's already being occupied by a player. So if... Uh, uh, we'll see if Bucha sees it or not, but if he actually stays like this, it'll actually make, him a lot, it'll make it a lot harder for uh, whoop to do what he wants to do. I kind of like the the ball carrier block right now, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The ball carrier block's never wrong. It's still one DB on a uh, on a only block player. Um, but he, if you want, if whoop wanted to make it a two DB, uh, he would actually. It, it's actually a lot harder because you have to get that blitzer out of the way first. Some interesting high level bash tech we're seeing here. It definitely the yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. And oh, why does he keep rolling skull push? It's a great dice result. Uh, so uh, yeah, like that's 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 not particularly great for Whoop because he now has a pretty good shot to uh, to two DB the ball free because there's no guard and because of that plus strength player. And then just move the black orc up. Yep. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, that actually never mind. Um, he can get a shot in from behind, but that's still only a one DB. Uh, but yeah, the the tackle zones now make it so that you can't dodge that blitzer or you can't walk that blitzer in. Yep. You'd have to dodge into every single tackle zone in the game. But as we all know, it's elves, so he's just going to roll a six. Oh, sure. And everything will be fine, because he's an elf. Plus strength blitzer might be able to uh, dodge and GFI his way all the way around. We don't see much oh, no, he can't, because he closed up the sideline. I don't know. Yep. He could blitz through two TZs and out and around. To show the world a better way by but. honest, strategic play oh. on the pitch. <laughs> Probably a good thing we don't see them. Honest, strategic play on the pitch. This is actually kind of fun, uh, for once being not knowing what's going to happen next, because, like, for all we know, he, Whoop might be queuing up some sort of insane chain push, or... It, like, it feels like he has to... This has to be the turn that he tries to get the ball free. Now, what's happening right now is he's sitting there, he just turned his hat backwards, he put mm -hmm. on his sunglasses, yeah, and he hit the hot plays button. Sure. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess the easy play is to the Witch Elf, uh, Frenzy Blitz. That, that seems pretty obvious to me. Yeah, that actually seems like a really, really good play. It looks like he's it looks like he's setting up for insurance and also to uh, to clear a nice path uh, for the for that frenzy block to come through. He killed the black orc. It's dead. Yeah, he killed the black orc. Oh, so he, he is actually going to do the two db this way. Uh, and, and when the ball gets knocked out, which it's about to right here, uh, that does free up the. Oh, that's not a great. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably not where you want the ball to be. Uh, it would free up the Witch Elf to, I guess, uh, be able to dodge away and pick up that ball. So That's exactly where I want that ball to be, actually. This is not good for him. Uh, he's going to get one one more 2DP shot here for, for a better scatter, but he's running out of players who have uh, who can move this turn. I hope a black guard gets it. Oh, oh dear. Ah, yeah! That ain't oh, good. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I'm getting so excited about these about these orcs. These orcs? Oh, 
these orcs are these orcs are real spicy. Yeah, and it's actually it's I think it's just because the rest of the match nothing's actually happened, but I'm just so happy that something fun is happening. Well, sure, yeah. That, I mean, that's kind of the way Bash goes. Not every turn can be uh, thrilling because you just gotta you gotta get going. Yeah, they should at least be bloody. Sure, I guess. Uh, gonna be interesting to see if he decides that he wants to try to surf the runner. Uh, that's not gonna help that much. Uh, that might actually make it. That uh, makes it impossible. Well, now it makes it impossible. Well, it's yeah. not impossible, I guess, but it makes it. It uh, makes yes, it. It might be worth it to dedicate uh, every orc to surfing here. Perhaps. Uh, you, he is, of course, going to be able to. Oh, well, all this. See, that's the problem with playing dark elves is that they're armor value eight and they all have blodge because they don't start with dodge, but. Through the through the course of a tournament, you will eventually pick up enough uh, SPP to make that happen. Like, let's see what the black orc gets down. That is a GFI, maybe two. Yeah, it's it's a GFI. It's just the the one GFI. Uh, but yeah, you definitely want to get that strength four player out of the way. I just see him looking at it. He doesn't have an angle to guarantee he gets uh, the blitzer off the ball carrier if he goes with his blitzer. Yeah, with yeah, the black yeah. orc. He can make sure it gets pushed away. It it is a double GFI to hit though. Yep, and again the problem is that um he hasn't had much success being able to knock players down, and like all these elves are just they're just like here the elves are in your face. Well, no, he's he's knocked them down. Oh, that's right, tackle of course. But they got up again. He's that's never true. gonna keep them down. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Danny boy. <laughs> these elves these elves are in your face. Every now and again, oh, yeah. Blood Bowl throws up a oh god, it's turn six already. Like yeah, yeah, this, yeah, the Dark Elves have done a really good job. Then. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, next next turn is going to have to be the turn that he has to get a player into scoring position, and uh, it looks like Whoop is going to be able to make another another Berg push. Uh, it looks like uh, Whoop's going to be in a pretty strong position to be able to uh, to continue to zone him out a little bit. It's actually ridiculous the amount of Berg dice that he's rolled this game. Yeah. Oh, also important to note, the Blitzer is still down next to his ball carrier. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, that, his... That's not the four-strength one, though. So. Yes, uh, the one that just got knocked down was the four-strength one, yeah. Oh, was it? Oh, sure shit. It was. Okay, yeah. he's making his move now. I, I... Oh, is he... Is this... Is he gonna... No, I don't know, can't. I don't think this is the turn, but there's nowhere it's... to stand, that's the problem. Yeah, this is not the play. Like, you almost have to take a step forward just to not be... Not to take the 2DB. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. That's the problem. Hmm. Fuck it. Maybe he does just throw it to his blitzer this turn. There's nowhere else to stand. I mean, he can stand next to that lineman, I guess, but he'll be able to get a 2DB on the blork and then, you know, blitz in with a dodge. He doesn't right. even need a dodge. He can take the blitzer from the left side. There's nowhere to stand. Doing the kind of like three part when you only have three people total and one of them is a ball carrier, doing the sandwich like that is uh it can be useful just because it can guarantee that the best you get is a one DB. Um, but in that case, he's actually going to the witch elf is going to be able to get a uh, a frenzy block in there, so you'll be throwing two one DBs. Yeah, this situation is why I I thought he should have uh, used the black orc to blitz the blitzer off. Mm -hmm. Because he pushed that blitzer, even though he knocked it down, he pushed it, it was still next to his ball carrier. If he used the black orc that was laying down on the side, he could have pushed it away. And I don't know, I, I guess it's a little riskier because of the double GFI, but it doesn't force him into this position. Yeah, uh, this is this has got to be really scary for... Um, oh, actually, and if he positions one of his players, uh, Whoop can make this a guaranteed 2DB follow-up. Yeah. Uh, but this definitely has to be scary as an orc player, knowing, like... Like, that, you you just kind of, this is how Dark Elves do their thing. They just kind of, like, bog you down. They don't die. Uh, they just stay, they just stay buffing in it. And then, uh, then they choose, they, they selectively choose their, make their chance to strike, and then all of a sudden they become elves. Oh, I hate them so much. <laughs> They're really good. They're such a good team. Just make their blitzers AV7. Oh, no, you can't do that. Yeah, just do it. The team is good enough. They'd still be great, but they'd be a little more manageable. They would then they'd become basically high elves. Or high no, elves I guess that's the other way around. That's the other way around. I'm, I'm no, sorry. uh cat high elf catches all AV seven, which is what makes them terrible, because their most important players are the ones that just die all the time. Yeah, but they have yeah. the fanciest hats, so it's fine. They do have great hats. Alright, here we go. Oh, this no. could be a this could be a backbreaking block. He's gonna yes! use that reroll. You know he's gonna use that reroll. God damn it. So now he's gonna push up. Yep, okay, so there we go. Ball's free. Okay, now, but it's, he has no reroll. Maybe he'll fail the pickup. 
That's true. Uh, Whoop is down to his last three roll. There was a time when the colleges of magic hadn't yet ruled on limiting. But he's done everything he needs to do, really. All he needs to do is surround that ball, and then what can the orcs do anymore? Yeah. He doesn't necessarily need to score, he just needs to not let him score more than anything. And you definitely need to uh, think about getting a player down the field into a into a scoring position. He's got a couple down there. Does he? Uh, I not on, he not on the back. other side, but he's got the two blitzers right there on the line. Right. So, uh, that plus strength blitzer is the the one in the bottom. No, that's the one who's laying down. So, uh, looks like the runner is going to. Oh dear, handing off in the tackle zone. Oh yeah, he just doesn't give a fuck, huh? That six movement player might just be able to take off. Like he might just be out of here. He's gone. The blitzers are six movement as well, but um, so he the the uh, cackle top there can can get the one db off. Yeah, but he's not going to be able to get down there and get the ball up this turn. Nope. Ugh. I feel like this half just got the half's over for the orcs. I think this is a very bad place for the orcs to be in, and it does also. Yeah. Uh, bad because you're giving up the ball for the the second half. You're giving it up to the the elves. Yep. Ugh. I mean, if he doesn't knock him down at least here, he's just gonna score this half, and then it's a pretty shitty situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even that's even worse, arguably. If he doesn't score, he might be able to do something still. There okay, we there we go. go. Okay. Well, he's like so he turns to go though. Good for you. Oh, I knocks him out. Something to do with swapped body parts. You remember okay, um, the Dark Side Cowboys and the Oh, he's he can't be. Is he? Is he? I think is he's he, thinking about it. Is he? Do Do you see the hot <laughs> plays here? I, I he might be queuing up a, a an extremely hot play. Is he Is he looking at that double GFI double dodge throwing to a lineman in a TZ run handoff? Uh, I would think he would just keep throwing right over the top of that blitzer. It looks like he's going to try to punch down this lineman to uh, clear an intercept path. I think he's going to hand it off to him. Okay, he's not. No, no, he's, no, no, no. Nope. Okay, I like the handoff. This is still an incredibly rude move. Yeah, no, this is. He's a oh, rude dude, chaos. and he's got a tude. Now, see, even like even if you can't complete this, and it looks it looks like he wants to do it, we'll see. We'll see. Fuck it, go for it. He, I, he's probably holding off yet because do like it, if do these, it, do it. If these yes! rerolls, if these rerolls fail, uh, no, don't throw to the black orc. No, don't do no. This <laughs> is like you almost. Oh, it's a six plus though. Just fucking do it. That Unleash is... the dragon. <laughs> so he's definitely considering his options. Like, the problem is that this plus strength player looms. That plus strength player looms real hard. In that thrower's mind right now is that picture of Sexy Rexy leaning back, cocking the cannon. Like, that's Absolutely. what he's not doing. He's a coward. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, it's a six plus to score, but... I can't really advise doing it if you want to win, but, sure. I, but it's it's the play. You don't care about him winning or not. No, I care about hot plays. Mm -hmm. That's a really hot play. And so then Bucha is going to uh, count his squares off here. Uh, I believe that right now the that Blitzer is the only player who can score at this point. So. Yep. Did you hear about the Evil Gits? The team that is made up of the mix of evil players? It, it's, it's not really worth Whoop's time to try to go after that player when he has his plus strength Blitzer uh, within range of the thrower. But yeah, All he has to do is hit that thrower. Yep. This is going to be another critical turn here. Uh, arguably a match deciding turn, depending on how things uh, fall. Let's go, baby. Skull push. Skull push. You believe in skull push? Skull push. Oh, I I, be I believe in bird dice. <laughs> this is if if there's any time for it, this would be the time. This yeah, this is definitely the time. Oh, why is he doing unnecessary? Uh, right uh, now? Looks like he's clearing players free. So, um, Whoop is probably thinking of scoring. Like. If he's going to score, it's going to be that plus strength player who's going to need to start running down to get into position. So if you can do the 2DB without needing him, uh, then you can... Uh, uh, like, the Witch Elf blocks are relatively safe. They're as safe as any 2DB is. Uh, looks like he's going to play it extra safe, even if he can't get that ball free by uh, double marking the blitzer, and that's 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 the right call there. It's a coward's play. He is, if nothing else, cautious. A cautious, per uh, cautious he's person. He's a coward. Sure. That's another way to say that. <sighs> He's thinking too much. Just get it over with. Okay, here's here it is. Skull yep. push. Pals. Oh wow. Oh, straight sixes. Oh wow. Ooh. Yeah, and he had a six on his dodge too. He really did just roll six, six, six. Absolutely. I guess that's proof that Whoop is the double. 
I think you will find that that is confirmed. Uh, so Whoop is definitely going to uh, dodge that blitzer. Oh, is he going to try to hit, pick up and pass to that blitzer after he dodges him downfield? Mm. That that definitely gets the uh, that definitely gets the ball out of the way of as many orcs as possible. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna go for it. I don't like this one bit. I hope the runner fails everything and dies. Yeah, that would be pretty nice to see for uh, for certain certain anti elf uh, individuals. Oh oh, dump off could actually this could be a fun case of dump off showing its uh, ugly head. Yeah, no, this is the turn to just rely on dump off. I don't like passing here at all now. Uh, it looks like he's gonna do the pass, though. And of course it works, because fuck elves, is that's why. Sure, absolutely. So, to act- oh, and, um, the positioning of his players, you'll note, means that uh, Cackle Top there is kind of zoned out, so he'd have to do a dodge into a tackle zone to get a block off. Uh, and it looks like the only players who are going to be able to throw a punch are the, uh, this one Black Orc, who's going to have to do a, a 2db. Uh, but he could very well be getting stood next to by this runner. Or by the Witch- oh no, the Witch Elf just moved. Yep, and Whoop making Whoop plays. Yeah, he's whooping it up pretty hard. I don't like Whoop anymore. I thought he was cool. I was wrong. So now you have to dodge a black orc into a tackle zone. This is oh god, dark elves. They're just they're just so darky. They're just so they're just so elf. He actually has to do two dodges with a black orc through tackle zones, or one in, one not in. I don't believe that Blitzer can reach, but uh, the thrower, if you can punch this guy away, and then the thrower can dodge through. No, no, the other one. And get a one db. Like so. I feel for him, man. At this point, you're just trying to stop him from scoring, but it's getting increasingly harder. Just... The Blitzer's not the one. The Black Orc's the one. Just do the double GFI, don't do a dodge. I believe that Blitzer is the only player who can score, so if you can get the ball free, then you can stop him. Um, but... This is going to be real hard. I think he's setting up the thrower block. I, f I feel really sad. Well, yeah, the thrower block is what he has to do. Yep. But I feel really sad that all four black orcs are within, like, five squares of each other on the wrong side of the field right now. And that's just what happens when it all breaks <laughs> down for orcs. When the cage falls, there are, uh, there are no survivors. Yep. Except for the elves. The elves always survive. They're like cockroaches, except uglier. Well, sure, elves will always find a way. Why is he moving this blitzer? Uh, yeah, just a marker runner. It doesn't really matter too much. Yeah. Like, you've, you've basically, you've, uh, you have, like, 100% abandoned the ability to score here. Yeah, true. That just ain't, that just ain't happening. It's going to be an uphill battle for these, uh, orcs to, to hold off and, uh, and, and pull out a win here. A recent medical report stated that doesn't really matter what angle you hit him from. I believe his his rationale here is that if you can throw the punch sideways, um, because that black orc is standing in the way from this side, so if you punch sideways, you don't you make whoop roll one more GFI, and that's that's the the probably the correct move. It doesn't really matter that he's no longer standing next to that black orc because his plan is just going to be to dodge away anyway. Um, so if you can if you can not push him, uh, oh yes, oh dear, oh eat shit, dark elf. Nice. You'll have to correct me, but I don't think that runner can score. I think they're nine movement, eight movement. No, they're seven movement. No. They're seven movement. They're seven movement. They're very slow. Okay, yeah, he can't score then. Yeah. Oh my god. Orc power. A successful orc defense. Uh, I, I just a... threw on my orc hood. <laughs> the orc power, man. You have an orc hood. Yeah. Don't don't. Mm -hmm. No. You're not. You're not part of the orc KKK. No, I'm not part of the oh. orc KK. <laughs> the K's both stand for orc. Oh wow, look at these. Look at these raw dodges. Not to be outdone uh, by elves. He's gonna go ahead and green elf it. I love these orcs. This is my new favorite team. This is your new favorite team? Yeah. It took, the, it took them not even 40 minutes to win you over. Oh no, they're awesome. Look at these guys. They're, they're doing shit orcs shouldn't be doing. They're yeah. just sitting here like all these elves are just surrounded by elves. And they're like, you know what? I've seen this guy dodge. I don't care that I'm, you know, 400 pounds heavier. I can dodge too. 
and they did it. I cannot, I cannot, in good conscience, smack talk these orcs. They, they are getting pretty hard. I mean, their their block dice have been garbage, but everything else has been okay. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, they they've been clearing dark elves from the pitch, which is nice to see. Hopefully, those bloodwiser babies fall right for the uh, for the orcs if they want to uh, be able to hold off the the, the dark elf t uh, onslaught. But no, I have, I have faith now. I think uh, I think he can do this. With a four man advantage, he's got a good chance of holding defense pretty well, and then I I, I forcing overtime, but I don't think that's going to happen with the length of the video. Uh, which is a bit cheesy, mm -hmm. really. Oh wow, he really does. Yeah. Is that four KOs too? Well, there, there's no, been no injuries, so yeah, it's got to be four KOs. Wow. Yep, yep. Let's just hope none of them succeed. <laughs> a boy can dream, huh? I can definitely dream. You can't take that from me. I wouldn't even dream of it. You know what? Take my life, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. All right. I don't care because I'm still free. You can't take this. I don't even want to know what that's from. It's Firefly! Okay, yeah, I told you. I know, you you hate all good things. Sure I do. Uh, so Whoop's probably going to just use his reroll here. Nice pushes. This is some great pushes. I mean, if you're playing Dark Elves, like, you don't mind seeing only threes and fours, but uh, at some point you gotta roll six. So, uh, this is the first half, and uh, we'll, we'll see you guys for the second one. Bye! Bye-bye!